All right, so Steven Jackson is kind of going to bat for Ja Morant. Now, I want to say this. Steven Jackson did say Ja Morant is on his own, and what he did for a second time, not a first time, but for a second time was dumb. But Steven Jackson did point this out, and y'all know, I think nobody should feel sorry for Ja. He did this to himself, but I do want to keep it fair. So I'm going to report this, okay? So, Steven Jackson showed us some very interesting photos of another NBA player by the name of Chris Kamen. Y'all might know him from his years on the Clippers. Um, I think he played for a couple of other teams. I think he played for the Trailblazers, too, if I'm not mistaken. But he was in the NBA for a long time. Now, y'all can see these three pictures on the screen. It says former NBA All-Star Chris Kamen picks from 2012, 2013, and 2016. Wasn't suspended a minute of a game. Selected selective outrage so he was still playing while these pictures were released and i'll blow them up for y'all so y'all can see this is chris in the nba taking pictures with guns here's another one this time he was talking about you know <laughs> he on his way to texas he said packing up for dallas about to head to the shooting range one last time before I make my journey to Texas, NRA, all right, so Chris, Chris is, he all for the guns, you know, mm, mm, mm. fight the power, right, and you got this last one, uh, this is the crazy one, because he pointing the gun right at the screen, now, shout out to Steven Jackson for pointing this out, but I will say this, number one, I don't think in any of these photos, Chris Kamen was a danger to himself or others. Yes, he got a gun pointed at the screen right now, but he's in a gun shop. I'm pretty sure that gun isn't loaded, but still, he's at a, a place where they sell and buy guns. In this picture, uh, I don't know where he's at. It looks like he's at a house, but I'm assuming he's at his house because if you look at the bottom, he ain't got no socks on. So he's playing with guns at his house. Another one, he's at home. And if Ja was playing with guns at his house and at a gun range, I don't think anybody would be upset. Because he, look, this ain't putting nobody in danger, even though it is crazy. He got the picture of the little girl up here. <laughs> While he holding two snipers, he got the snipers out. But... He's at home. He ain't putting nobody in danger but himself and anybody else who might be in his house. But, you know, if it's your house, you can do what you want to do. Also, Ja is the face of the NBA, sort of, kind of. He's the new up-and-comer, the new sensation. I think he has a bigger responsibility. But most importantly... Because I know a lot of y'all like, uh-uh, never gave up. You ain't, no, nah, listen to this part. You already know the system is not fair for you. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when you do it. You know it. You have been black your whole life. You know the consequences to things that you do will be more harsh than somebody of Chris Kamen's complexion. The complexion for protection. You know that. So that means you have to be more vigilant, more intelligent, more thoughtful, more smart about the way you go about your life. And especially if you want to play with firearms. So this is cool. And I appreciate Steven Jackson for putting it out there. But it really doesn't do anything for me. But like I said, I'm going to post it. Because I know a lot of people are, you know, fighting for Ja. We all fighting for Ja. I don't want to see him lose his career. But I do want to see something happen to him. 
that can make him seriously think about changing. And if you don't want to change, nigga, get out the league. Give back your checks. Go back to Memphis and play NBA young boy all day. You ain't got to go to practice if you don't want to. You ain't got to go to the games. You ain't got to go to the arena. Nigga, just stay at home. Smoke blunts. Why some why some uh girl named Shaquisha do your dreadlocks and, and let that be your life. You already rich. Go coach at the uh go coach at your local high school or your rec center. And honestly, I don't if you playing with guns, I don't want you coaching my kids, but just go do something else. Okay? This is cool, but Josh still needs to learn what he did was stupid. Because it's black people in America, we know. We cannot play around like this. You see what Chris Kamen is doing with the little face? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, I got two snipers up. We can't do that. We can't do that. Maybe when, you know, I hear about reparations might be coming. If if we get our million dollars worth of reparations, maybe things will change a little bit. You know, we got money. They can't take it from us. Maybe we could be a little more uh, ignorant and a little less cautious. But right now, we got to play the game and we know the rules of the game. Let's not act like, you know, it's brand new selective outrage is cute. Steven Jackson. Uh, my bad selective outrage is cute. Steven Jackson, but, uh, <laughs> you know, Steven is old enough to know what I'm talking about. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all watching y'all know what I'm talking about. So let's, Let's cut the jokes and all of that other stuff. Let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.